Let's get at her. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thank you very much, Johnny. Hey, it's time for Jeopardy! So good luck to all our players. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game number 101 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is $4,738,600. I missed the final Jeopardy the last time. Author's home state. The Old West. Christmas cuisine. Hmm. And a look at our final category. Nicknames. We'll see. Might do well in tool time. Player one, you start us off. Rhyme time for 200. The purple Teletubby. Player one. What is, who is Tinky Winky? Precisely. Pick again. Rhyme time for? Colorful 1986 number one album by Madonna. Player one. What is true blue? Definitely. Rhyme time 600. It's Ben and Jerry's banana ice cream with walnuts and pieces of dark chocolate. Player two. What is chunky monkey? Mmm, that's exactly. right. Exactly. I'll take author's home states for 200. Stephen King. Player three. What is Maine? Definitely. Hmm. Author's home states for 400. John Irving. Player two. What is Vermont? Oh, that's in Not John, not, not Vermont. Take a look. Here's the right. New response. Hampshire. I'll try Christmas cuisine for 200. During the holidays, winter white chocolate is one of the most popular of this chain's 31 flavors. Player one. What is Baskin Robbins? Yes. Right time for 800. A synonym for potpourri or miscellany. Player three. What is hodgepodge? Oh, of course. Precisely. Pick again. Let's go for Can't believe I didn't think Office of that. Home States for 600. Larry McMurtry. Player one. What is Texas? Hey, you're correct. Right time, a thousand. A weapon like a taser that fires electric darts to temporarily incapacitate a person. Player one. What is stun gun? Exactly. Christmas cuisine, 400. And we wish you a Merry Christmas. Carolers demand a figgy one and won't go until they get some. Player one. What is a fruit pie? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Nobody? What we were looking figgy for is pudding. This. Uh, Christmas Cuisine 600. About 1.76 billion of these striped canes are sold in the U.S. every year. Most of them are used for decoration. Player one. What are candy canes? Precisely. Pick again. Christmas Cuisine 800. It's an English tradition to adorn this tusked animal's head with sprigs of bay, rosemary, and little flags. Player one. What is a walrus? No. No. Nobody? I had a... Player two? What is a stag's head? Oh, regret... Not a stag's no. head. Nobody? Player three. What is pig? Yes. What? Oh, I pig. Okay. The Old West for 200. It's a cattle or horse pen, okay? Is that it? Anyone? Player one. What is a stall? 
Nice try, but no. that is incorrect. Nobody? This is what we a want. A corral. Oh, of course. Okay, okay, corral. Tool time for 200. When it falls, you're fired. Player one. What is the axe? Yes. Uh, Christmas cuisine, a thousand. At Christmas time, you'll have a burning desire to make a bouche de Noël, a cake shaped like this. Player one. What is a log? Exactly. Nicknames, 200. Last name of the mother and son who are Miss Lillian and Grits. Player three. What is Carter? Hmm. Definitely. Nicknames for 400. Fishy nickname shared by football's Vernon Smith and baseball's James Hunter. Player two. What is catfish? Hmm. Precisely. Pick again. Nicknames for 600. Gangster Martin Goldsmith was nicknamed this with two G's. Benjamin Siegel had only one. Player one. What is Bugsy? Definitely. Nicknames 800. You've got this one nailed if you know this is Lewis Turkle's nickname. Player one. What is Hammer? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Anyone? Take a look. Here's the right Studs. Hmm. Nicknames a thousand. Born in 1861, this Chicago chewing gum businessman was known as the monarch of mastication. Player three. Who was William Wrigley Jr.? Of course, Wrigley. Definitely. I don't know why I was thinking that now. Let's go for the Old West for 400. Okay. When Abilene decided to clean up its image in 1871, it dismissed this wild marshal. Player one. Who was Wild Bill Hickok? Exactly. Uh, tool time 400. It's the musical tool heard here. See? Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is a saw? Hey, you're correct. Uh, tool time 600. A sharp twist of your muscle that might make a monkey out of you is this tool. Player one. What is a wrench? Exactly. Tool time 800. Things on the up and up are on this tool. Honest. Player one. What is a level? Definitely. And tool time 1,000. To go at something... No cool, daily double here. To go at it with this tool and tongs. Player two. What is a hammer? Oh, now is the time for a hammer. Precisely. Pick again. And that gets him out of the well, hole. Try the Old West for 600. Cibola, as in the seven cities of Cibola, is the Spanish word for this large animal of the plains. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Oh, two. what is the buffalo? That's what I would have said. Definitely. I was too slow. It's okay, though. The Old West for 800. Answer? Ooh. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? 800. Way before they made cars, Studebaker covered these. Player two, what are prairie schooners? Exactly. Okay, prairie schooners. Wet for 1,000. Virgil Earth was this brave Arizona City's marshal in 1881. Player one. What is Tombstone? That's it. You do know your history. Some of it. Author's Home States, 800. Mario Puzzo. Oh. Player three. What is New York? And I just Here's thought of it, but I was too six. slow again. Here's the final Last one. On this board. Anne Rice. Player two. What is Louisiana? Hmm. Exactly. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy run. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. 
Excellent job, player one. Mendeleev with 5,800, 3,800 for player three, 3,200 for player two. So on pretty good first round. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. We have... This does not... I might do well on that one. Global Village. Entertainment. Beastly expression. Might I might do okay on that one. Like Grandpa says. And the final category. Rock and pop. We'll see. Entertainment for four hundred? Lavar Burton was a drama student when the role of Kunta Kinte in this miniseries made him a star overnight. Player one. What is roots? Yes. Entertainment okay. 8. The play about this president who resigned opened and closed a few weeks before the Watergate break-in. Nobody? What we were looking for was... Richard this. Nixon. Uh, Entertainment 12. In this 1984 film, city boy Kevin Bacon moved to a small town that had outlawed dancing. Player one. What is Footloose? Yes. Entertainment 1600. A staff photographer for Look Magazine, he went on to direct such films as 2001 and Dr. Strangelove. Player three. Who is Stanley Kubrick? Hmm. Exactly. I'll take Beastly Expressions for 400. Okay. The correct response should roll off your tongue like water off this bird's back. Player two, what is a gull? No, that's not, not a right. gull. Sorry. Player one, what is a duck? Hey, you're correct. All right. It's 2000 Entertainment. Answer? Okay. The daily double. Make your wager, please. I'm not going to go too big. I'm just going to do 1,200. This title TV family lived in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Jefferson County, Virginia. Player one. <sighs> Who are the monsters? Good guess. Nope. But it's not what we're looking for. This the Waltons. Uh, Beastly Expressions 8. If you receive a horse as a gift, never look at it in here. Anyone at all? What we were looking the for mouth. was this. I would have said the eye. Uh, just like Grandpa says, 400. Grandpa says that this is the best policy. Player one. What is honesty? Precisely. Pick again. Grandpa 800. According to Grandpa, a stitch in time saves this. Player one. What is nine? Definitely. Grandpa 1200. Answer? Oh! The daily double. Did you make your wager, please? Well, I was here before the last time, so I think I'm going to true daily double. Wherever he was, Grandpa would say there's no place like this location. Player one. What is home? Exactly. Did it. Grandpa, 1600. The silent type, Grandpa says that these speak louder than words. Player one. What are actions? Definitely. Grandpa 2000. Completes Grandpa's fashion statement. Clothes make this. Player one. What is the man? Precisely. Pick again. Uh, Beastly Expressions 1200. These farm animals may fly, but they are very unlikely birds. Player one. What are pigs? 
Yes. Beastly Expression 16. You might as well be hanged for a sheep as one of these. Player two. What is a lamb? Precisely. Hmm. Pick again. Let's try Global Village for 400. It is said that the yellow on Chad's flag represents the sun and this desert. Player two. What is the Sahara Desert? And I was just thinking that yes. too. Global Village for 800. Trail name given to North Vietnam's main infiltration route into South Vietnam during the war. Player three. What is the Ho Chi Minh Trail? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Let's go for this does not compute for 400. You'll get this many crumpets when you receive a baker's dozen. Player one. What is 13? Hey, you're correct. Uh, Beastly Expressions 2000. Don't mistake an old one of these for a preacher because of his beard. Player three. What is a goat? Hmm. Precisely. Pick again. Let's go for rock and pop for 400. It was the last decade in which Cher didn't have a top 40 hit. Player one. What is the 1990s? No. No. Player two? What is the 1950s? Oh, I had to go way hey, further correct. back. Rock and pop for 800. Of a steamroller, airplane, or two U.S. cities, it was what the group Buffalo Springfield was named after. Player one. What is an airplane? Good guess. No, probably a steamroller. We're looking for. Player two. What is a steamroller? Yep. Precisely. Pick again. Kind of Wrong blowing it now. For a thousand two hundred. Melissa Joan Hart's mother took her name from a song by this band featuring Duane and Greg. Player one. Who are the Almond Brothers? Hey, you're correct. Not compute 800. In the 14th and 15th centuries, this Anglo-French conflict actually lasted 116 years. Player one. What is the 100 years war? Precisely. Pick again. Not compute for 1200. Proverbially, if you eat like one of these avians, you might eat over half your body weight every day. Player one. What is a bird? Hey, you're correct. Not compute 16. The standard dimensions of one of these lumber units are one and a half inches by three and a half inches. Player one. What is a two by four? Exactly. Not compute 2000. These long schnozzed animals of the family Myrmecophagidae may actually prefer termites. Player one. What are anteaters? Yes. Uh, Rock and Pop 1600. He reached new heights with purple rain. Player one. Who is Prince? Exactly. And 2000 Rock and Pop. In 1982, it was business as usual for this Who Can It Be Now group from Down Under. Player one. Who are men at work? Yes. Uh, Global Village 2000. It's the Florida Cape where the space shuttle missions begin. Player two. What uh, is Cape Canaveral? And that's exactly. what I would have said. Global Village for 1200. US 101 is usually called the Hollywood one. It leads into the Ventura one. Player one. What is a boulevard? That is no? incorrect. Player three. What is a freeway? Hmm. Yes. And the final the last one. one? In 1945, representatives from 50 nations met in this California city on the bay to draw up the UN Charter. 
Player one. What is San Francisco? Hey, you're correct. Put it out of reach, but it was out of reach from the get. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead. 30,400, 9,400 for player three, 8,000 for player two. There's no way they can catch me. It's final jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, you'll have just a few seconds to decide on your wager. Archaeology. Hmm. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Let's see, I have 4,738,600 coming into this game, so I'm going to go 11,000. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. In 1997, aerial surveys found the Pleasure Dome this con built in the 13th century. It was Genghis Khan? Icon. Let's see how everyone did. Your question. Genghis Khan. Is, that's not right. No. Sorry. And your wager? 8,000. Your question. The players, Aga Khan. No, nope, I don't think such a person correct. exists. What was your wager? 9,400. Player one? Kublai Khan? Question. That's right. Yes. And your wager was? 11000 for $41,400. Congratulations to our winner. Player one. Hope you all had fun. See you again on Jeopardy. Bye, Alex. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. So I believe that's four million. We got all seven hundred eighty thousand with this win. So a bit of a modest win again for me, $41,000, 41400 but you know what? I don't care. That's a good win for me. I have to admit, I felt good about uh, the This Does Not Compute category. If the Daily Double was over there, I probably would have gone true twice. But, in, but as it turns out, it was in Entertainers. I missed it the first time, and it was in Just Like Grandpa Says. That one was pretty straightforward and uh, came through with five out of five in the in that category. That's when I went true and pretty much just put the writing on the wall for player two and player three. So in total, four point seven eight million dollars, closing in on five million. But I would have to have a really really good game to hit that exactly again. But did I think I was going to get to $5 million before I won 100, 100 games in a row? No. Unless I had really good game. Unless I had a really good amount of categories that I remembered by heart. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, subscribe, and I'll see you all for Game 102, where I go for the tie with Ricky Carmichael for most AMA motocross races won. As he has 102 wins in that department. But this is an entirely different uh, discipline. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, subscribe, and I'll see you all for game 102.